What kind of threat or reward would it take for you to start a health or exercise program? I mean, if someone paid you for walking or riding a bike or going to the gym or using a treadmill, would you do it? That would be a reward which some people would not pass up. This is Pastor Bob here from True Life Community, a Seventh-day Adventist church. But what kind of threat would it take for you to do the very same thing? Maybe instead of winning money, it would be to pay money. In other words, get fined. It's an idea that was actually tried several years ago in a little town in Brazil. It seems that the mayor was trying to pass legislation that would force the city's 28,000 residents to get adequate health insurance, get adequate health care for themselves and their family members. The main reason for this law was so the city would gain more burial space. You see, the state government had promised the town a new vertical cemetery, but nothing was done about it. The mayor offers this new proposal in an attempt to discourage death and increase available space in the cemetery. Since the announcement of the proposal, both gym use and health care visits have increased. To my way of thinking, just the promise to live longer would be incentive enough to help me find a gym or a new bike. I'm one of those who likes to be healthy. I try to eat the right things at the right times of the day and the right amounts and the proper balance of all the vitamins and minerals and other nutrients that I need. I don't need to be paid for my health plan, nor do I need to be nudged by a threat of a fine. My inspiration comes from the Bible, that is God's word. Do you believe God talks about our health in the Bible? Well, he does. Way back in the book of Proverbs, Solomon gave us great advice when he said, A merry heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit drains your strength. That's in Proverbs 17, 22. Try wearing a happy smile and see how it affects those around you and then comes back to brighten your own life. Paul says to the Corinthians, You've been bought with a price, therefore honor God with your bodies. 1 Corinthians 6, 20. Jesus bought you and me with a heavy price at the cross. I want to obey and follow him. My prayer for you is to study his word and to be in good health. Father, we thank you for these bodies that you've given us to live in. And I just pray that we'll take care of them as the Bible instructs us in Jesus' name. Amen.